Hello all, I would like to show how to install Puppet Enterprise 2050.2 on CentOS 7. For this lab I have built two VMs, one is Puppet Master and another is Puppet Node. Let me show the my lab diagram. I have built two VMs using VMware Workstation. First VM I use for Puppet Master, second one for Node and these are my config 2 CPUs and 6 GB RAM for Puppet Master and 1 CPU and 4 GB RAM for Puppet Node so before uh, going for installation so we have certain prerequisites first one is master should pin node using hostname and vice versa let's check this so I'm at puppet node. Let me ping the master. In master, yes, it's pinging. Ping p node zero one. Yeah, this is. And second requirement is port numbers three thousand and eight one four zero. What I'm trying to do now is I will stop the firewall service. And we should download the Puppet Enterprise tarball for installation. For that, let's go to Puppet Labs. Click on Get Started. Try Puppet Enterprise. Click on Free Trial, and then it asks some of your details. Once you fill up this information click on continue once you click on continue the page will be like this select the operating system for the puppet master ours is CentOS so I am selecting EL version is 7 and it will give us the option to download so click on download and once you download the tarball, copy that to Puppet Master. As I have already done that using WinSAP, again I am not going to show you how to copy. I have copied to slash temp slash puppet. So this is the tarball downloaded from Puppet Labs. So when you are installing Puppet Master, so there is a two stages one we have to run puppet enterprise installer on the machine or using command line and we have to deploy puppet master using browser so let's run the puppet installer first we will unzip this Puppet Enterprise Installer. So, do you want to install packages and perform get install? Yes. Okay. So now. Okay. 
Click on let's get started. There are uh, two types of uh, deployment, one is monolithic and split. When we select monolithic, Puppet Master, Puppet Enterprise Console and Puppet DB, all of these components will be installed on a single machine. When you go for a split installation, each component will be installed in a different server. So if you want to go for split deployment, we recommend to go for three VMs. But uh, for the sake of our this video, we are going for monolithic installation. Click on monolithic, and it will ask some information about Puppet Master FQDN, E Master one, and Puppet Master DNS alliances, HP Master, and database install PostGIS. If you have a PostGIS on some external system, you have to take the use external existing PostGIS instance and provide the details. Anyways, for this demo, we are going to go for install PostGIS as well. And console admin password. confirm the plan click continue now it is giving a warning saying that hey we recommend to have four cores but your game has two cpu cores but that should be fine click on deploy now it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to deploy puppet master I'll pause my video till Puppet Master is installed. Our Puppet Master deployment is successful. Let's click on Start using Puppet Enterprise. Okay. So, default username is admin. Multiple tabs here, configuration, nodes, license, access control. In configuration, we can see the overview, events and the reports. In nodes, we can see the inventory and classification. If you go to the inventory, as of now, it is managing only one node and that node is Puppet Master itself. And there are no pending uh, uh, certificate signing requests from the Puppet nodes. Now, Puppet Master deployment is successful. Let's go and uh, deploy Puppet Agent on the VM2. So how to install uh, Puppet Agent on the node? So if you go to classification, go to PE master. Good inventory and send certificates. So here you can see the command. If you run this command, the puppet agent will be automatically installed on the OS, which is uh, of master. So it's puppet master is running on CentOS 7. So this command would be sufficient for installing agent on the CentOS 7 agents. If it is a different if OS is different from Puppet Master and then we have to uh, do a couple of steps more so that I will take in the next video. So for now let's copy this command and run on Puppet Node.
Okay. So. What happened now is Puppet agent has been installed and it has sent a certificate sending request to Puppet Master. Okay. You can see that p node zero one dot nxgc dot local is waiting for certificate to be signed by Puppet Master. So what you can do, you can click on accept, which will make the signing successful and we just have to wait for about a minute. Now if you see, our Puppet node is being managed by the Puppet Master. So these are the steps for installing Puppet Master and Agent. So let me outline. These are the uh, high level steps for installing Puppet Enterprise 2015.21 Central Server. Thanks for watching the video. Happy learning.